The very last verse of the Old Testament says, he shall turn the heart of the fathers to their children and the heart of the children to their fathers. Otherwise, I will strike the land with a curse. We live in a culture that in many ways has redefined manhood, devalued manhood. So we settle for something far less than God originally intended. I love youth pastors, but it's not their job to disciple my children. That's my job. It's my job to help my sons not just become men, but men of God. Now for many of us, the problem is that we don't know how to hand off our faith, what we know about life, about love, about the Lord. It's difficult for us to do for our sons what maybe your father didn't do for you. In the first two sessions, I'll talk about how to play the man. We'll explore the seven virtues of manhood. In the last two sessions, we'll talk about how to make a man. I'll share the discipleship covenant and the rite of passage that I've created for my sons. I believe it'll help fathers and spiritual fathers disciple the next generation of men. You can do this, and when you do, your intentionality will change the trajectory of your son's life. A little effort goes a long way. God wants to turn your heart to your children. Revival starts in your heart and in your home. When you play the man and you make the man, you light a candle for the next generation, a candle that cannot, will not be put out. Let us play the men for our people.